Leo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for mid-September 2023. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Blue. Blue. Come here. Come here, lazy bones. Don't look for trouble. He just woke up. Anyways, uh, let's see, Leo, what is going on here for you? Nice, the overall energy for the reading, the Ten of Cups. Now that's talking about happiness right there. I don't know what it's saying about happiness, but it's saying something. And we'll see what, uh, when we clarify. Starting off the reading, you get the Five of Cups crossed by the Three of Pentacles. It looks like there's a struggling kind of an energy at play here in a partnership of some sort. I don't know what kind of a partnership, but something is happening. In your focus, the Page of Cups, you're trying to keep your heart open as much as you can. In the recent past, the Three of Cups, things were working out at some point better than what it's looking like it's going on now. But in your uh, strength, the Six of Wands, I feel like you're trying to look at the positive, trying to find the positive uh, in the situation in particular. So trying to, focusing on, to focus on that. In the immediate future, the Queen of Wands, there's definitely, I mean, there is a sense of something is happening within a dynamic you're part of. There is that sense here. It is showing up. Um, but I see you not allowing for this to take away much from you, if anything. You know, you're kind of like, you know what, it is what it is. Let's deal with it. Uh, let's just not let it take us down, kind of a thing. Uh, supporting this reading, the Four of Wands. That looks like a marriage, for some of you at least. For others, it's quite the important commitment. Even if it's not a marriage, it's quite the important one. Uh, the energy that is surrounding you that you may not see, the Four of Pentacles, there's a lot of resistance there to let something go. I don't know what, I don't know on whose side, but it's there. For your hopes and fears, the Ten of Swords, that's the worst case scenario that you're presenting uh, me for the situation. So interesting because you're trying to keep positive here but you are fearful of something not great happening interesting there um in your potential outcome the empress okay so you are aligning with that very nurturing side of yourself that very caring side of yourself i feel like there's more than meets the eye to this reading so let's clarify let's see what's going on here you're giving me like these energies like so as a matter of fact like oh here no you know, this is happening, that's happening. It's fine. We're good. Okay, let's see what's going on here, Leo. Let's uh, dig. Let's start digging. Let's do the Ten of Cups. Blue, I'm digging, not you. He's digging. He's the kind that after he goes number two, he digs. And not in the direction of the place, which is very funny. Come here. Come here. Nope, we're not eating shit from the fire pit. Blue. Blue, come here. They didn't teach you that at boarding school, huh? They taught you, but you're doing it only when you want to. Blue! Hold on, Leo. I might have to pause this. It's your obsession with that place. Come here. <laughs> no, he doesn't want to. Uh, for the Ten of Cups, you get the Nine of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. Yeah, there's something going on here. You're not... Still, you're not showing me exactly what, but you are showing me a sense of almost like defensiveness towards it, like keeping a distance from it. That's why you're kind of showing it to me from the distance. Like, 
yeah, I got this situation going on. It's 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 all good. It's gonna be okay. Um, that's kind of how you may want to treat it. But you know, that's not um, the best way to probably approach this. But let's see. Five of Cups. You get the Page of Cups, the Empress, the Nine of Swords. You're, you're hurt. Something hurt you here. Um, it's like showing me a very vulnerable side of yourself where you opened up your heart to something and then, pfft, you know, something happened there. So you're very much hurt here. And that creates some not great energy in this dynamic. I don't know what the hell happened. I can't see it. But I just see you being open and vulnerable and then being like, Ugh. you know, Ugh, I took a blow kind of a thing. Hmm. Let's do the three of pentacles. The fool, the five of pentacles, the hangman. Oh, interesting. Because you've got uh, quite the interesting energy when it comes to this one. Like from a deep place within yourself you kind of feel like well the energy is coming through as i just don't want to deal with this anymore i'm kind of done here but you're stopping yourself you're definitely pausing before acting so there's a sense of let me let me just take a look at this from different angles and then i'll decide but instinctually you come through as i'm out you know uh again i can't tell what kind of partnership this is but something hurt you here while you were at your most vulnerable place. For the Page of Cups in your focus, you get the Two of Cups, the Five of Swords, the Strength card. Um, you're trying to keep your heart open here, and you're kind of giving me a sense of sleeping on one side there, but it's not the right side, definitely. Uh, your intention is good, but it's not honest. You're trying to bring in love. You're trying to, to put in, you know, a lot of great energy into this. You're, you're, but as I said, I, I already saw what, energetically speaking, where you're at with this. So trying to force an energy into something that you're not part of, energetically speaking, anymore, is coming in quite deceptive. It's like... Go away, B. Uh, I understand where you're coming from. I understand what you're trying to do here, but it's not aligning with where you're at in this situation. B, I'm going to get out my spray. Hold on. Hold on, Leah. Got a situation. I got a spray. And it's not a bee spray or anything, because I don't even know if they make those. But it's a spray that I hope would work because this bee is terrorizing. It's not a bee, it's a yellow jacket. Go away. Got that. I think I'm annoying it. One. One that's pissing me off today. And given that I'm also a Leo and a fixed sign at that, um, I'm very stubborn to do these readings outside at the cost of being stung by a bee see what stubbornness does sometimes and I may at the end, by the end of the day I may because this bee has just been a pain in my ass today hopefully it's you know they're not gonna make it literal let's do the three of cups in the recent past you get the five of cups the nine of pentacles the eight of wands blue Stop chewing on the tree. What are you doing? You want to take the tree down? Come here. Come. He slept for like two to three hours or something. And now he's alert. But I never saw him chewing on a tree. Literally chewing on a tree. Okay. Um, I mean, this situation has been through stuff similar to this in the past, but it always seemed to bounce back up. You know, it always seemed to be like, okay, okay, okay. 
I feel like this was, I don't know if it was, or I, it feels like it's the final drop or something like that for this, because you're in a very different space than you were in the past here. Okay, you start to go, oh my God, I sprayed my eye. <laughs> but it was coming from my, blow. It's a shit show in this reading. I don't know why. Great. You got the stick. Good boy. Can you bring it here? I'm not going to do it again because I just sprayed my eye. That, that backfired big time. Uh, yeah. So it feels like in the past it happened, but it kind of managed to come back. Uh, I don't see it the same right now. Blue, come here. Good boy. Come here. Get your fat ass up here. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. You got, you're a, a little bit of an oompa loompa here. Come on, get your ass up. To get it done. Great. For the six of one. Okay, we're, we're doing this. I don't care. You can eat the tree. Uh, for the six, and the bee can st sting, sting me. No, it, it's not a lot. Six of wands, you get the six of wands again, the lovers, the three of swords. Hold on, this is a different energy. This comes in with a sense of pride. Uh, it kind of comes through as, you know what? Yeah, I've been hurt. I've been put to the ground by all sorts of things, by all sorts of... You're not pointing me out to this necessarily. You're pointing me out to something else. Uh, whatever that something else is seems to have been, possibly in the past, very, very important and very... In the sense that it really put you down whatever that was so you're kind of pointing me out to that and it's like even with that i managed to be okay so this is almost like this is piece of cake to me but you're not necessarily you're not necessarily aligning with where you're truly at when it comes to this you're kind of almost trying to put up a facade as if mm, this is nothing you know and it is something probably not as big as whatever you're pointing me to out there but it is something you know okay let's do the queen of wands now eh. get go play with the bees get get no not with the spray with the bees I'm not playing with you. I gotta do Leo. I don't know why. I don't understand. I wanted to take a break after this to attend to that craziness. Apparently... Uh, for the Queen of Wands in the immediate future, the Ten of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower. Oy, 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 oy. Leo, you keep on putting up a face, putting up this, this facade of I'm fine, I'm fine, everything's okay. Uh, things are looking like they're heading in a little bit of an even more south than where they're at. Uh, if it's any constellation, it feels like they're meant to head that way it's meant to happen in this way it's probably just to give you that slap in the face kind of like come on stop pretending kind of a thing because you keep on showing up as if i'm untouchable this is nothing piece of cake i'm good i'm good nothing's happening here nothing to see go to your homes you go to your home b this point if i get stung um for the, see i don't care piece of cake 
for the four of wands you get in the supportive energies you get the sun the star the nine of cups it would be ideal for you to have this workout in healthy energies for now it's not showing up in healthy energies it's not showing up that you're responding in a healthy way to this you're showing me if it would it would be great that's what i want i want happiness for this i want that emotional um quiet stability groundness it's not there though it's not looking like it's there so as long as it's that i understand you want that but if it's not that why are you responding to it as if hmm, i'm okay i'm good i'm happy i'm okay who are you lying to there you know crazy good morning we're gonna have to wait a little bit let's do the four of pentacles in the hidden energies, you get the uh, Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, the Four of Wands. You're having a hard time letting this one go. It could be a marriage for some of you. The Four of Wands showed up again, so that, you know, that's twice. So it could be a marriage or quite the important situation you got going on. And even when it feels like it's just not working out and you've reached the final drop, you're still having a hard time letting this go and then time passes and then nothing really changes and then it stays the same and it stays in quite the unhealthy energies and then you're like pretending like nothing's happening you're good everything's fine and it's going to continue in the same way because of your inability to let this go there's something within you that's saying don't let this go and i feel like it's fear it's usually fear when it shows up with the four of pentacles so let's do the ten of swords in your hopes and fears the magician the king of wands the high priestess you i don't know if you understand but you're kind of at a battle with the universe here you know uh you're trying to manifest for things to work out you think you're in a good place for that manifestation to play out because you've got great energies and you're carrying those energies by telling yourself that you're good uh, but i'm gonna i'm gonna let you on on a secret you're not that you're telling yourself that you're good but you're not because you're not aligning with your truth of the situation you're aligning with the fear of it because as you manifest for things to work out you have fear attached to that fear that mm, this could go south this could go you know i could lose this or i could whatever uh fear of failure maybe there's some sort of fear that's in the way of your manifestation so it doesn't matter how much you're telling yourself that you're good and again you're showing me you're not uh you're not in the sense that energetically speaking you're on your way out physically speaking you're kind of showing up as no everything's fine we're good here everything's good and look at us There's so much love here and it doesn't have to be a marriage it could be a friendship even it could be anything tied up to you you know it doesn't have to be that um for some of you it is but uh i'm not saying stay or go i'm saying just align with what's in your heart see the fear that's holding you back and take it from there gain clarity over where you're truly at with this don't lie to yourself there because that's what you're doing more than half the reading you you've been lying to yourself um you know so see where you're at with this one let's do the empress in the potential outcome you get the hierophant the three of pentacles the death card Yeah, you're uh, you're definitely, this is heading south, I'm not going to lie to you, you know, I'm not going to be around the bush, because you know I'm not, uh, but it's heading south, it's heading towards an ending of some sort, that's what I see there. It just needs to come from you, in the sense of you aligning with that and accepting that, because you're taking this there, based on where you're at in regards to it, and I've seen you being there 
for a little minute there, but you keep on lying to yourself. In between now and whenever that energy is gonna hit you in the face, you lie to yourself. If you were to be honest with yourself right now, you would see that this was the final drop, whatever the hell happened. And I don't see anything happen different than it did in the past. It's just that it happened so many times that you're like, that's it, that's my limit. I don't have any more, you know? Because uh, again, I see something happening there too. But every time there was a comeback to it, not this time. Energetically speaking, you're not showing me the same thing, but you keep up the facade of, we're good, nothing happened, we're good. But it is heading south, big time. Um, and that can be prevented, I don't know, things can change, energies can change. What I want from you in this situation is to align with your truth. Because that's what's lacking in this reading. Otherwise, things would be, you know, much more simple for me. I'd be like, okay, so that, that's what happened, that's what happened, oh, okay, done. You know, but it's not that. The issue of this reading is you not being honest with yourself about what's going on in a situation. And just kind of extending something that maybe shouldn't be extended, because it's like the energies are pretty clear. Yep. From the universe, the seven of swords, the five of pentacles, the eight of swords. Yeah, you're in a process of an ending of something here. Know it or not, you're quite there. You're, you're quite confused in it. So there's no clarity there, which I'm getting because you're not aligning with what you really feel about it. So even the universe kind of confirmed, yeah, this is a process of you turning your back to something. It's not gonna happen overnight. It feels like it's gonna take a while. But meanwhile, what I would suggest is please, please, please align with how you really feel about this and where you really stand in this. No point of dragging things on, but anyways, let's do the Oracle of E. This was a shit show with blue and the B coming back. But uh we got through it. Everything is beautiful. Number 32. Let's see. Get ready to be dumb, dumbfounded in the best possible way. You will be speechless at how beautiful your life really is. Things that once seemed common that you often took for granted are about to show off their true colors. Real beauty is about to come into focus. You can thank the universe later. Only if you align with your truth here, possibly, possibly. But anyways, uh, that's what I have for you. My God, this was a long reading and I feel like a lot of it was blue chewing on a tree and a bee attacking me and me spraying me in the eye instead of the bee. But the bee is gone and my eye is probably red, but see you next time, bye.